Well, it is taco time in the kitchen now, and Clover's here to get the party started. <laughs> is this your taco song? This is my taco oh, song. Oh, yes! <laughs> yes, we are transported. <laughs> yeah! I am so cheese balled, aren't I? I mean, after the most graceful Kelly Coffin, and then there's me. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, so we're doing, I'm calling them my turbo tacos. Yeah. And they're these gorgeous, the music is still going, I love so it. So gorgeous. Um, and they're basically tacos that I've made with tempa, which is a vegan alternative. Because one of the most asked questions I get all the time is, can you give us vegan alternatives for mm -hmm. something? Um, and they're from my new book, In Minutes, which is available Ta -da. for pre-order today. It's basically answering the question. <laughs> it's basically answering the question, what, how much time do you have to cook tonight? It's the most yeah. asked question that I get. And these can be done in 20 minutes. Also, yeah. we have various vegans on our, vegans on our team who say, guys, so hard oh, something that's quite exciting or interesting. This is a, I would, this one here, um, I, I, that's, as far as I'm concerned, that's, that's meat. That is meat. That is meat. <laughs> <laughs> So that one is pulled pork. Okay, I so... thought this was a vegan item. This one, not the whole thing. I we're thought doing you had found the most perfect <laughs> vegan ingredient, which happens to be pork meat. <laughs> what is it? It's pulled, pulled, it's pulled, pulled pork. pork. It's you see, pork. you just can't recreate that, can you? <laughs> Oh my that god, that's so amazing. Oh, it's brilliant. Oh my god, where's he going with it? I love that. Oh my god. Oh, I'm like, oh, like for a moment like then I thought I was gonna go <laughs> vegan. <laughs> So, but basically what I've put in oh there is God. the same thing I'm putting in here. And mm. the th thing about these tacos... This is other that one's pretty good as well, though. The, the other one. one's really good, too. <laughs> so the great thing about these tacos is that they're so alternative that we've given you, like, two options. We've given you mm. the pork, mm. <laughs> which okay. we love, and then also the vegan alternative. Because what I find is that when people are asking me on DMs on Instagram and everything is that they usually have, like, one or two vegans at home and they're trying to fulfil them. These mm -hmm. way, with the tacos, you can make them in 20 minutes and it kind of be like pizza, like, basically. So in here, I've put my onion and I've put my garlic and I've put tempa. And tempa, basically, is this pressed soya bean, which is really good. And, like, I... When I was trying out different alternatives, when I was, you know, cooking up a storm for the book, I was, like, a little bit sceptical about tempa because I just thought, like... How can it be really... Can this be really good? But it's really it's good. Really, it what's really nice good. about it is it does... It's not... Because you look at it and you go, oh, is it going to be like chicken? But it isn't... It's not no. pretending to be a meat. No. But it what feels it is, like it feels substantial it, enough to replace what you'd be lacking if you think, oh, I... It's also a great it. vehicle for the spices. It's an amazing vehicle for the spices. Oh. Yes, it is. Because it, like... There's it's, no hauling back from what I've just done, but I'm just... <laughs> you're getting there. <laughs> It is, because it absorbs it all. Um, and so basically what the... I'm not sure if I said this or not, but Anya, the tempa is compressed um, soya bean, and it's from Indonesia. Mm. Um, and it's kind of got a nutty flavour. It doesn't kind of. It has a nutty flavour. And, um, and it's got, like, texture that's, like, meaty kind of texture. <laughs> and then I put in onion in here, garlic in here. Then I'm putting in smoked paprika. And I've done that for the pork as well. Is so that I, the same recipe then? It's the exact same the... recipe. And you can use pulled pork in it, you can use black beans, you can use um, minced meat, or you can use corned meat, or you could use torn chicken. That's like grilled chicken, kind of torn off the, mm -hmm. the breast. And then I've also put cumin in here, which is yummy. And then I've put in dried chilli flakes. And actually, you know, my book is in minutes is actually broken up into three sections, 10, 20 and 30. Do I roll this it up or like this? Section. I've just seen yours as an open thing. My, you are so way ahead. I can't help it. It's so yummy. What I have you got in there? Everything. Oh, pork, okay. pork, the vegan one. You've got the vegan one. Okay. I, I went for the vegan one out of shame. Okay, I'm going to show you that in two seconds. I'm just going to finish this off and I'm going to roll it with you. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I'll, You're I'll like pause. rolling I'll I did mine in like an envelope, so that's you probably did. wrong. Yeah, no, it's fine. Whatever. I'll stop. So basically, I've got my spices in there for 30 seconds. 30 seconds. And then I'm putting in maple syrup. Mm. Yes, maple syrup. And then also soya. And basically, you get the umami. Did That's I say what that it right? Is. Mm. You did. I always say it wrong. The umami, which is that lovely savoury flavour, and then the sweetness of the maple. So as I said, I'm doing it with the temple, but you can do it with anything. You can do it with like your leftover roast chicken. These are brilliant for doing leftovers because, say, on a Monday night. What are we today? We're Thursday. Thursday. Mm. Thursday. 
OK. You may have had a midweek roast. You may have had a midweek roast. <laughs> or this weekend, if you have a roast on a Saturday. It's brilliant for using up all the leftover meat, right? Yeah. So then we've got... Here I've got all my little um, fillers, so now you can go right. ahead, guys. Talk me through it. Claire. So basically, you've got our fillers. So these are tortilla wraps. You can get them everywhere, or they're... Um, um, yeah, tortilla wraps, and they're soft ones, they're flour ones. They're, these are small little ones. And you just warm them up in either in a microwave mm -hmm. or you can do it in a frying pan if you're living, like, if you're a student and you're living, you've only got, like, a thing here. If you're down on the beach, wherever you are, you can warm them up. OK, and then I'm putting in tomatoes and then I'm putting in a little bit of chilli and then I've got my mix. And what do you think? It's so nice. Isn't That's, it? Um, I'll eat mine. You've eaten yours. Oh my god, you really did. The maple syrup and the soy. And the soy is so good. That isn't combination it? is so clever. It's so clever. It's so so clever. Yeah, I'm so clever. You are. So Sorry, clever. I didn't mean to say it like that. <laughs> I meant is that like they just work. It's delicious. Don't they? They work. Absolutely. They absolutely work. And a squeeze of lime is yummy on it. But I think the fun on this, right, is that you put it all in the middle of the table, like on a, mm. a weeknight to kind of jazz it up. They're so easy and quick to make. We and just... then you put in all your different fillings into it and have a margarita. That's what I was going to say. That's what's missing. Well, isn't she coming up after the break? She's doing... Cocktails what? later. You've got yes, cocktails. Got enough She's doing rum cocktails. Point. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Thank you very much. Mm. That was delicious. So, um, so and your book, In Minutes, 10, 20, 30, is... Um, is, is available to pre-order today on Amazon. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you very you guys. much. Thank you very much.